that? Have you heard someone is going to rent Meadowfield Park at last? Well, my dear, I hear he is a very rich young man, a single man of large fortune. How wonderful for our girls! Why? How can he affect them? Marriage, of course. So you must visit him as soon as he arrives, before our other neighbors introduce themselves. Fine, fine, I'll go. Charlotte's father said that he's quite young and very handsome and extremely charming. <laughs> and even better, he can dance. Really? Yeah. As politeness required, Mr. Bailey came to visit them, but girls all hid behind the curtain. A servant from Netherfield arrived with a note from Jane to Elizabeth. Dear, I had caught cold on my way right and have been invited to stay at Netherfield until I recovered. Don't worry, Jane. Oh, don't worry, my daughter. No way! I have to see her! Elizabeth decided to walk the five kilometers to Netherfield. And she has no conversation, no arrogance, and no beauty. 
She has no good qualities except that she's an excellent walker. I will never forget her appearance this morning. She really looked almost wild. I must say she looked remarkably attractive this morning. Oh, I'm afraid this adventure will rather lessen your admiration of our fine eyes. Not at all. It will brighten by the exercise. Certainly people use the word accomplished to lose it. But far from agreeing with you about ladies in general, I cannot boast of knowing more than six who are really accomplished. Then your idea of an accomplished woman must include a great many qualities. Yes, a great many. I'm no longer surprised that you're knowing only six accomplished women. Actually, I've never seen such a perfect woman in the world. At a party, Elizabeth met a gentleman-like young man, Mr. Wickham, whom the Bennett girls had never seen before. After a few minutes, they talk about Mr. Darcy. We grew up together at Pemberley. My father get up all his time to take care of the farms and let Mr. Darcy, who promised just before my father's death, to take to provide for me, mm -hmm. but he didn't choose to respect that promise. How strange that Mr. Darcy's pride can has not help make him help you. Surely he is too proud to wish to appear dishonest. Which is, I must call him. He is certainly very proud. Proud of his precision his family, uh, his father, and his sister, too. I'm astonished at Mr. Darcy's close friendship with Mr. Bentley. How can Mr. Bentley be friendly with such a man? Suddenly you are all I've never felt last summer, Mr. Darcy. I hope Mr. Bentley and his sister were well. Perfectly. Thank you. My dear Lacey, he must be in love with you. If you are talking about his silence today, I could only suppose that he had nothing better to do. in the world to think badly of you. I have no wish to deny that I did everything I said for them and that I delighted with my success. But it's not only because of Jen that I dislike you. I heard all about you from Mr. Wickham. You take an eager interest in that gentleman? No, he has an unfortunate life. Unfortunate? Yes, unfortunate indeed. And as all I thought, you left him poor Disappointed and dependent. You make all of this. And this is your opinion of me. You're the last man in the world I will marry to. Elizabeth had still not 
not recovered from the surprise of Mr. Darcy's proposal to her. She decided to have a walk. Don't be alarmed, ma'am, that I should repeat the offer which so disgusted me last night. You accused me last night of two very different offenses. Proposed to Jane again. Mr. Darcy's chain arrived. Mr. Darcy, I can no longer stop myself from thanking you for your kindness to my poor sister. I had hoped to attempt to keep it a secret, but you must have me. Let it be for yourself alone. I'll tell you one thing that's true. Rather be Yes, I do. Down that lonely road, and the way looked clear to me. All I wanna do is try. 